Hey guys, in this video we will have a look at Corvus OS 16.8 official build for Lavender. After tapping Corvus settings, you can find all of this customization and the first one is notifications where you can change ambient options and you can customize them. Then you can change battery charging light. You can also find some of the other things like notification count, heads up, re-ticker and other things related to notifications. Then under gestures, you can find some extra gestures like double tap to sleep brightness control. Then under miscellaneous, you can find gaming mode, display cutout settings, full screen apps and something similar like these. Then under lock screen tab you can find lock screen items where you can change lock screen related elements like media art and its cover art filter. Then there is music visualizer, charging animation and other things as well. Then you can find battery options which is under status bar tab where you can find same old battery bar, same old battery styles and the battery percentage icon as well. Then there is icon manager where you can change some of the icons on status bar. Then under quick settings you can find android as QS tint then there is QS status icon background then there is qs panel opacity as well you can also adjust brightness slider you can also adjust columns and rows from here then you can also enable custom headers and all of the things related to quick settings is available here also make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and if you want to watch full customization video then it is released just before this video then under hardware you can find buttons where you can change volume panel style and you can also enable app volume which seems to be not working and there are some other things related to buttons as well. Here comes the themes where you can change most of the UI elements like icon shape, QA style shape, accent color and all of the things related to theme. Raven Desk is like an updater where you can get download links and then you will be redirected to another website. Under display settings you can find double tap to wake, blur, also there is styles and wallpapers from where you can change lock screen clock as you can see there are many clocks available changing font is available from display settings only as it is not available in different place like themes or any other and there are tons of fonts which includes a newer ones too so you can select any of them so for extra security features this room includes app locker and face unlock as well also the build is enforcing and comes with august security patch under system settings you can find xiaomi parts which is like a kernel manager where you can do some tweaking to display color then you can also do some tweaking to xiaomi doors thermal profiles also you can change SE Linux status from here. Wideband is L1 by default that means you can stream HD content on Netflix and Amazon Prime Video. While many devices failing safety net test, the safety net on this custom room is still intact and it is passed. It is passed after enabling magic card and I'm not using any magic module only game unlocker as you can see. So after a long time I got 6 hours of screen on time with this custom room and it is great for me as the battery health is degraded and idle drain is pretty good too. When compared to other custom rooms which crashed quick bench, it is pretty good. To be honest most of the android 11 custom room was unable to complete the geek bench test. Meanwhile the CPU throttling test results is completely on a different level as there is no CPU throttling detected and the max and average score is pretty great too. And the threads are set to 100. Kill. Threat has been detected. Fire! Team will 
Oh, no, 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 no. Help me. Help. Wow. So the gaming performance with this custom room is great as there are no lags while playing game. Even with screen recording, it works perfectly smooth. I recorded this gameplay at 720p and as you can see, it works perfectly smooth. So if you want to play some heavy games, then you can go for it. But before doing so, make sure to watch this video till the end to know more about this custom room. Though the settings UI is kinda similar to most of the Android 11 custom rooms, it looks kinda nice and clean. Maybe it is due to Corvus settings on top. Amount of customization in this custom room is pretty great and they are the useful ones. If you are looking for customization, then you can go for it as you can find your most important customization in this room as well. Ah yes, the safety net. Meanwhile, other custom room is still failing the safety net test while this custom room is holding it tight. I don't know which magic is this but it is great for me and other users as well. So for cons, the first thing is that the device starts to lag randomly and the system UI also gets crashed while the device is lagging which is kinda weird but it happens rarely though. So it is less painful but annoying. There are some minor source bugs which can be annoying as some of the things might not work and enabling some of them will work the opposite way. Which which means enable is disable and disable is enable. There are no major bugs just the minor ones which I mentioned previously. So you can use this custom room as a daily driver at the cost of system lag which is a rare thing and it won't be a big deal. And for gamers this custom room would be a great option as there are no lags while playing games and you can enjoy games without any worries. And it also comes with some nice and useful customization. And that's it for this video thanks for watching make sure to like share and subscribe also follow me on instagram.